Hello friends. In this video, I want to show you how you can make uh, magnetic paint very easily and uh, just as good or even maybe better than that you can buy in the hardware shops. Uh, in the first part of this video, I'm going to show you uh, the paint I've produced, how it works, and the different qualities I've been able to produce. Uh, in the second part of the video, I'm going to show you how I produce the, the magnetic paint. So let's go and see the, the products I've produced. These are my first attempts uh, with paint. These are water-based paint and oil-based paint. Oil-based paint and water-based paint with fine structure, fine ingredients, and with much coarser, thick ingredients. Now, as you can see, the magnet sticks on very well on all these, these paints. These are on wood. As you can see, there's no trick, uh, no bit of iron behind it or in between. It's all just magnetic paint. These were my first uh, experiments and they aren't as good as I would prefer because they aren't strong enough to hold up too much paper. From there, I went on to these other options. Now, this is a very fine structure. This is, uh, these are very fine particles mixed with the paint. And it has a good luster. It's, it uh, looks very nice. And it, the, the magnet sticks on very well, better than the other uh, options I had. And we're going to test this in a while. This is the same material as that one, but with a much thicker, uh, with thicker particles. This also sticks on very well, and we'll talk about this late. This is a completely different material, also with uh, thick particles, very coarse, sticks on very well, but it is not very well distributed. The particles are not randomly distributed. And uh, in some places it sticks on badly. In other places it sticks on very well due to the amount of particles available in that area. Hmm? Okay, let's start off with the fine one. To test this, we put a bit of paper there, we put our little magnet there, and it sticks on. Then we put a, a second bit of paper, and it sticks on, no problem. Three bits of paper, sticks on, no problem. Four bits of paper, sticks on. And it's sort of kind of weak. Uh, it kind of kind of slips down there. Uh, so let's try another one. Five. And there it's much weaker. It falls down. Okay. So let's say this one accepts four bits of paper. At most. This one. We start with one bit of paper, sticks on well, two bits of paper, sticks on well, three bits of paper, no problem, four bits of paper, no problem. Five bits of paper, no problem. Six bits of paper, no problem. Seven bits of paper, no problem. Eight bits of paper, and there it kind of gets weak. Let's go back to seven. Seven 
seven bits of paper kind of weak. It, you would say that seven is the, the most it will accept. So we have four and seven, maybe six. Now this other one. I'm going to put the, the, the magnet where it's more coarse. Okay? That should be the part where the magnet can hold on best. One bit of paper. Two bits of paper. Three bits of paper. And there it's gone. Three bits of paper it won't accept. At most it accepts just two bits of paper. Now, this material, well, it's first of all, it's enamel, based water-based enamel, and the, the ingredient that is used to attract the, the magnet is uh, iron shavings from a bench grinder. I ground some iron there in the bench grinder, and then I picked up all the, the, the filings, and that is what I used as ingredient. In this case, this is ferrite. Ferrite uh, cores from electronic material uh, ground to uh, this particle size. Hmm? Ferrite is alpha iron. It's a form of iron, but it can be broken up and ground in, uh, quite easily. Okay? This uh, material was, this ferrite was screened through a screen of 1.5 millimeters holes. This also is ferrite, but screened through the 1.5 millimeter screen and additionally through a 200 micron screen. So this is the, the finest material, and this one uses coarser material. It has fine material in between, but also mainly coarse material. Now, let's see how I made these, these paints. This is my source of ferrite. These are little rings. These are like uh, small mushrooms. All these appear, come out in uh, electronic any electronic material has must have these because uh, apparently they use them to uh, make sure the signal doesn't have interferences. Hmm? Then this material I put in in this thing. It's an iron uh, extinguisher, an old extinguisher. An iron bar cut straight there, and with that I break up the basic structures into something uh, thicker like this yeah. and then this I push into my my tumbler which is this one you in my other video you why I, I t teach you how to make a tumbler I use that tumbler to mix in here with these big balls hmm. these break up this material into this material that is the the 1.5 millimeter uh, material I used for the coarser uh, paint okay now this is what I use as a 1.5 millimeter hole uh, sieve and this is material uh, with a 200 micron sieve. Then, once I have the, the ingredients, a good amount of ingredient, I have used this measure that is half a teaspoon. I use two of these, that is one teaspoon of, of ferrite mixed with this measure that is one tablespoon of paint, enamel, water-based enamel, okay? Then there's 
in total it would be one teaspoon of ferrite and one tablespoon of paint. That's uh, the formula I have used till now for my best uh, paint. The fine paint used the same formula, but in that case, I gave it three layers of paint. In the, the coarse ferrite, I only have two layers of paint. Now, what to paint with? Uh, many people in, in internet and YouTube, they say that uh, magnetic paint should be painted with a, a roller. But the truth is the roller, it doesn't work in this case, especially not with a coarser material. With a coarser material, I have to use a brush because that way I can distribute the, the, the material, the particles more evenly with a much better distribution throughout the surface I'm going to paint. Well, that's about it. There's nothing much to it. The important thing is to get a, a coarse material. I think you, it's quite clear that with a test we made, it's much better to have a coarse material so it sticks on well and you can get some thicker amount of paper there stuck on whatever you, you're using as a surface. There is one important thing we must know. These figures that you put on your refrigerator, they come with uh, magnets made of ferrite. These magnets are not very strong. So you put them on this paint and they simply slip off. These paints can't be used with these kinds of magnets. For this paint, uh, any other paint uh, on the market uh, sold as magnetic paint, needs to use these neodymium uh, magnets. These are very strong and they're perfect for uh, magnetic paints that are sold on the market and this magnetic paint that you could make. Well, I hope you liked my video and if you did, please give it thumbs up, uh, share it, subscribe and uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.